When it comes to Nike SB Dunks, the things that we can usually count on are good storytelling. And with this pair of SB Dunks right here, Nike really outdid themselves. My name is Josh and I will be reviewing the Nike SB Dunk Low Fly Gardenia. So these released on March the 25th for a retail price of 120, but what am I kidding, man? I can never get SB Dunks for retail because you know how they release them. They usually release them at skate shops and it's very difficult to win those raffles. So I did end up paying resale for my pair, which honestly I'm not too mad about because resale prices are not too bad. We'll get into that a bit later. But let's talk about Fly Streetwear. So Fly is a skate shop based out of Shanghai, China. And this pair is actually already the seventh collab between Fly and Nike SB. They've done some work before on the Janowskis and they've also had a dunk mid. Let's get into the shoes and in order to do that we have to talk about the inspiration behind it. So the inspiration of the shoe comes from the white orchid flower also known as the gardenia and these are sold in markets all over Shanghai and people buy them and wear them on their clothes because they have a nice smell so it's kind of like their way of wearing a perfume and you see this flower represented all over the shoe starting off at the swoosh and what a unique swoosh it is the embroidery on this is just really nice there's like a bunch of swooshes laid on top of each other and it's meant to represent the petals of the flower you also got some little extra bits sticking out there and I'm honestly not sure what that material is but it does add a nice visual effect the medial side of the swoosh is a lot more smoother and it's also done with some very nice embroidery towards the back of the swoosh you see this metal piece there which kind of looks like a staple but it's actually meant to represent the metal wires that are wrapped around the flowers when they're sold you also have the Nike logo in the back surrounded by this green suede which is supposed to represent the stem of the flower there's also this image of the gardenia flower which is embroidered near the back of the shoe yeah, the details on this go absolutely crazy. Speaking of which, have a look at these laces. You get these rope laces this time, something pretty unusual for an SB Dunk. And I think that looks great. That's definitely the laces that I'm gonna stick with. They're done in this cream color, but if you wanted some alternative laces, they do also come with an extra pair of white SB style round laces. And the colorway of the shoe is just really nice to look at. It's not just any blue, it's like a very vibrant blue. And if you're wondering why did they choose blue on this, what does that have to do with the flower? It turns out that the woman who typically sell these flowers in those markets they usually display them inside baskets which have a blue cloth underneath and the blue panels are made out of a rough suede material then you have this white toe box which I have to say is made out of some pretty nice soft leather and you also see that leather on the tongue of the sneaker speaking of the tongue by the way the left side has the Nike SB logo whereas on the right side you get that fly streetwear logo the mid panels of the shoe are actually done in a different color they're done in a very light gray and I didn't notice that in pictures and this gray seems to be made out of a nubuck material so overall there's suede leather and nubuck all used on the same shoe you also get this very nice cream midsole and then finally looking at the outsole you have a gray outsole which seems to have kind of like a cement finish to it yeah overall just a very nice clean pair of shoes great execution and great storytelling by the way very quickly if you have found this video useful so far make sure you hit that subscribe button I'm dropping videos multiple times a week just just like this one and also smash that like button so this video gets pushed out to more people it really helps out the channel thank you guys for sizing as usual with SB dunks I like to go up half a size than my true size and that is mainly because of the fat tongue I find going true to size to be a bit too uncomfortable but it also depends kind of how you want to wear the shoes if you're not planning on tying the laces you're just gonna keep your laces loose then I think you can definitely go true to size but I do like to tie my laces so I'm gonna end up getting these half a size up so to give you a reference that is a half size higher than I typically wear with Jordan 1s and pretty much all Jordan shoes and also a half size up than an Air Max 1 and of course any non SB Dunk. So when it comes to resale on these, the prices are pretty low if you think about it. They're only going for around 200 in most sizes right now, which is pretty good for a shoe like this, considering the storytelling, just how good these are, the quality on these. Have a look at, for example, the Kentucky Dunks, which is a similar colorway, and those are actually reselling for even higher. And that to me is pretty much all I need to know about whether or not this shoe is undervalued. Let's see how much these go a year from now. If you guys are interested in copying, I will leave a StockX link in the description. Yeah, so overall, 
overall, I have to say these are surprisingly one of my favorite shoes to release this year and definitely my favorite SB Dunk. Not only is it just very nice looking, just the way they managed to incorporate that gardenia design into the shoe. It's just absolutely fire. I mean, great colorway, great execution, great storytelling. Nike SB, you guys killed it with this one. Definitely these are a cop. Do not forget once again to hit that subscribe button and also make sure you're following me on Instagram and TikTok. That's where I'm dropping some content too. Also, in case you didn't know, I do have a pretty awesome podcast, if I say so myself. You can find the links to that down in the description. I interview a lot of the people you watch on Sneaker YouTube on that pod, so make sure you check it out. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.